Let's start with our next question that is question number 28. The question you see belongs to chapter ray optics. As per the question in total internal reflection when the angle of incidence is equal to critical angle for the pair of media in contact what will be the angle of refraction? Certainly the answer here would be 90 degrees. So answer to this question would be option number 4 right. Now let's move on to our next question. Now the question you see belongs to chapter gravitation. As per the question, work done to raise a mass m from surface of earth to a height h which is equal to the radius of earth is. Certainly the formula mgh will not work here because the height is comparable to radius of earth. In that case, you need to solve in this manner. Right. So, initial potential energy when it was at surface of earth would be this. Right. Now, after some time when it moves to the final position which is equal to height h. So, it will become g capital M small m upon 2r. Right. Because the distance from center is not 2r. And work done or the potential energy stored would be simply u final minus u initial which would be g capital M small m by 2r. Right now, here you very well know that this can be written as mgr by 2 as g is equals to capital GM by r square. So, let's see which is the best suited option among the four given options. Option number three would be the right answer to this question. Now, let's move on to question number 30. Now, the question you see belongs to chapter motion in a plane. As per the question, when an object is shot from the bottom of a long, smooth, inclined plane kept at an angle of 60 degree with horizontal, it can travel a distance x1 along the plane. But when the inclination is decreased to 30 degree, same object is shot with same velocity, it can travel x2 distance. We have to find the ratio of x1 and x2, right? So it's a very easy question. Let's first understand the basic behind it. So, let's have a diagram. So, this is a base horizontal and this is the inclined plane at some angle theta, right? And the particle is kept here and it is shot like this along the inclined plane. So, in this case, the acceleration due to gravity will be acting downwards. This will cause retardation. And finally, this object will come to rest at this point that is final velocity would be zero. The distance here from start point to end would be x. So, when you put the formula, you will get x is equals to u square by 2g sin theta, right? Now, similar pattern of question is here with theta 1 is equals to 60 degree and theta 2 is equals to 30 degree. So, when you put the value of theta as 60, so this question will become theta 1 is equals to 60 degree. At that time, the distance was x1. When theta 2 was 30 degree, at that time, the distance was x2. So, x1 is 2x2 would be simply sine of 30 divided by sine of 60. You solve this, you will get 1 is 2 root 3. Let's see which is the best suited option here. Among the four options given to us, yes, option number three is the right answer to this question. I hope you have understood the question. Now, let's move on to our next question. That is question number 31. 